Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at a free vibration problem. A 2 kilogram mass is suspended from a spring and stretches by a distance of 40 millimeters. What will the natural frequency and the period of vibration for a 0.5 kilogram mass suspended from the same spring be? Well, let's draw a diagram to illustrate what we're going on about here. Uh, this is our spring attached to a mass here. This, by the way, would be a single degree of freedom diagram. Now, the question is saying uh, when this m here, our mass is equal to 2 kilograms, the spring displaces from its equilibrium position that I've just represented here. doesn't really matter where you draw it. Um, displacement that the spring has from its equilibrium position or stretches from its equilibrium position by 40 millimeters. Uh, let's just box that diagram off. Uh, let's start by writing down what we know. Uh, we know that when our mass is equal to 2 kilograms, our displacement, which I denote using this Greek symbol here, is equal to 40 millimeters. Now, we want to find out um, when our mass is equal to 0.5 kilograms what our frequency or our natural frequency F subscript N is equal to and our time period T capital T what that's equal to now so how do we go about solving this problem well I always start these problems by starting with uh, what we need to obtain and trying to backtrack using formulas to what we know. So uh, let's start here. Our time period t. I know that the time period t is equal to 1 over the frequency f. Now uh, we would need to find out a value for f to solve this. So um, I know that omega our angular frequency is equal to 2 times pi times the frequency f. Now we can rearrange that equation here um, and put that equal to omega divided by 2 pi. So that sorts out our time period and our frequency. Now we need to find an equation for omega. Now we know omega is equal to the square root of k over m. Now our k is a stiffness and our m is a mass. We don't need to worry about the mass because they're given in the question 2 kilograms and 0.5 kilograms. Now stiffness. How do we work out stiffness? Well, I always remember the equation by drawing out this graph first. If we plot uh, force and displacement graph for the spring uh, according to Hooke's law it looks something like this nice and straight now if we took uh, the gradient of this graph that would be equal to our k so we should know that from this graph that our f force is equal to k times the displacement but we want to work out stiffness so our k is equal to the force divided by the displacement now we're given a displacement here 40 millimeters in the question so we don't need to worry about that but what we do need to worry about is our force but that can be resolved simply by doing mass times acceleration this acceleration here would be simply the acceleration due to gravity. Now, uh, all we need to do now is just substitute in the numbers that we're given in the question um, because we found a way to sort of work our way through back through these equations to obtain the frequency and the time period here. So, a 
let's start off with the first equation. Let's draw a line down here so we don't get confused. Our force is equal to, we've said, our mass times acceleration. Now, what mass do we use? Well, um, to know this, we need to just sort of work our way back to this equation here. We know that we're going to eventually want to work out stiffness for the spring. And this will be force divided by the displacement. And the 40 millimeters that we've been given in the question, displacement, is with respect to a 2 kilogram mass. So that tells us we want to substitute in 2 kilograms here. So our force would be equal to 2 times 9.81. We'll take the acceleration due to gravity as, and that will give us 19.62 newtons now let's work out stiffness k okay. that would be equal to the force 19.62 divided by the displacement now normally uh, the stiffness k the units of that would be newtons per meter let's write that down over here so if we wanted to work out the stiffness K in terms of newtons per meter, um, we would need to make sure the units we put in to this formula are correct. We've got newtons up here, that's fine. Now we've got 40 millimeters, so let's divide that by 1,000 to get that into meters. So 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.04, sorry, meters. So the stiffness will come out as 450. 0.5 newtons per meter. Now, what did we say our next step was? To work out an omega. Omega being our angle of frequency, and the units of this is normally radians per second. So our stiffness, we've said, over our mass square root it all, so 400 and 50.5 divided by our mass. Now, what mass do we use here? Well, we should use the 0.5 kilogram mass. So why do we use that? Well, because we want to work out our uh, angle of frequency in terms of the 0.5 kilogram mass so we can obtain a frequency and T time period related to the 0.5 if we substituted in the two, then we'd be working out a time period and a frequency in terms of the two kilogram mass, but the question is not asking us that. So we're going to put in 0.5 here, and remember to square root it. And that will come out as 31.3 rads per second. Uh, in another tutorial, we'll go over those units. Uh, save that for another one though. Our frequency now. We said our frequency, doesn't matter, we can put an N there, doesn't really matter what we represent it by. Natural frequency, Fn, is equal to our omega divided by 2 pi, so 31.3 divided by 2 pi. And we'll calculate from that a frequency of 4.98 hertz. Now, uh, hertz can always also be represented by, we'll put it in brackets, seconds to the minus one. Same thing, doesn't really matter. And lastly, our time period, T, is equal to our 1 over F, we said earlier. So, 1 divided by 4.98 eight and that will come out as 0.2 roughly seconds and there we have it we've got our time period and our frequency here in terms of the 0.5 kilogram mass job done